So this is the video card for my TXNR906. Um, I had a power supply issue where basically if I ever, if the power ever got disconnected, the video would stop working. So the audio would come in fine through the HDMI, but the video would never go out. Um, I had already done the trick to the video uh, chip where uh, you heat it up and it, it comes back together. That actually was working great. Um, I did that about three years ago and it was no problem. Uh, I believe the new problem now though is that this capacitor down here has failed from the leaking. So I think this is a leaky capacitor from the research I've done. I'm looking for help trying to figure out if that's the suggested target. Also this inductor is really loose. Um, so I'm kind of concerned there and I did find those online and I'm gonna buy new ones to try to replace that. But I'm looking for feedback as to if this is doable. Um, I do have concerns. So if you flip the board over, there's a lot of like, it looks like burn points on the back of this thing. And I'm just concerned that all these things are fried or gunked up or what. And these are the inductor holes, which apparently the inductors don't fail. But overall, there's a lot of like, I don't know what you would call that, like burning. Like look at up here, like all the burning that's happening on these pins up here. So I just, I don't know what to do here. A little concern, like this is a beast of a receiver. It's got the giant transformer in there and I would hate to throw this away. Um, or do even more damage to it. Like it's still an audio receiver, right? So I can still use that. Um, so yeah, I don't quite know. And I'm looking for some feedback as if to, is, is this stuff a big deal or not? Um, and should I just try replacing uh, this one inductor? Cause it's, again, it's like it, it's really not sitting in there well. Like every other one's got a firm hold on it. And that thing's just wiggling around. I also jacked up these pins getting this out. But I think I think there's no damage there. So yeah, I'm hoping that's just this capacitor leaked out. I don't know if I should test them all or if I should just replace them all. I don't like to fix it if it's not broken. Uh, any help is appreciated. Thank you, community.